Hi peeps, Junction 6 here. Today we've got a supremacy game and is Rebel in his T92 E1. The little derpy fast thing. Love this little tank. Yeah, he's going to come up and do some spotting. Over the top here. Great position this for spotting in this tank. Getting people who are silly enough to go into town. I would never go into town on this map always take the high land if you can but they've decided to go into town our green team are a bit undecided where they're going to go kind of just milling around at the moment while they're doing that rebel can put some damage in we've got one guy in town in the a base they've already got the b base looks like there is only this this progetto up here He's not going to go into the sea base, so this Progetto doesn't know he's coming. He put a massive HE shot into the back of him. He's going to come around now. Still not going to go into the base. They're taking the A cap. We've got a guy in the C cap. The guy in the Progetto decides to run. Can't outrun the shell, mate, so he's gone. Alright, we've now got a base each. Supremacy is all about thinking ahead what bases we need, what bases they've got, what tanks we can shoot, and what tanks we can't shoot. Can we get this guy? Yes, we can. Now, obviously, if you lose tanks, you also lose your supremacy points. So, you don't want to lose tanks. We're down on tanks, so we're down on supremacy points. So the two ways to get those back is either kill tanks or take bases. Now, they're going to have a base. There's nothing we can do to stop that. So they're going to have two bases and more tanks than us. We've got the high ground, which is good. But if they just stay there and don't move, they are going to win. There's no need for them to push out. It's down to the green team now to do something. Basically, it's going to be down to Rebel to do something, because, to be honest, I don't think their team is the greatest. So he's going to start off by taking out a tank. That's reduced the amount of uh, supremacy points they've got. However, as soon as we start losing tanks, their supremacy points are going to go up. We need to get that B base. We need to have two bases because we need to make up. So he's going to come down here. Sees the target. It would be nice to get rid of him. Yes. So that's reduced it even more. And now we're taking B. They're up over 800. This is where it gets dangerous. We're still over 200 supremacy points behind. We're going to have to take A. Because otherwise they can still just tick this out. They've got three tanks. We've got three tanks. If they take the B base back, we're in trouble. So Rebels coming across. Puts a uh, hit into that guy and is now taking the A base. We need to stop that counter. They've come... Nice bounce, nice bounce. They've come back. Can we take him out? Come on, mate, do it. Yes. So that's reduced it. And we're still... They're not gaining any more points. Another low hit point target coming in. Why this guy's coming in, I don't know. Because... As soon as he dies... We get some more points back. Alright, it's we're ahead now on supremacy points. We've got two guys in this base, so it's gonna click along a lot faster. So now we're ahead. We don't need to do anything, just not die. And so we're just gonna run away. We're gonna win this by not dying. And they do. That's how you play supremacy. You've got to know when to attack, when not to attack, 
and of course get a mastery getting a mastery always helps doing 6k of damage also well helps well played mate really well played <laughs> <laughs>